There is an air of foreboding hanging over the Capitol in Springfield, a sense of frustration. If we're going to raise taxes, it has to be coupled with reform. We need contribution campaign finance reform. We need uh, pension reform. We need to make sure that we have a scaled-down government. But so far, Illinois lawmakers haven't done either, and time is running short. Governor Quinn has warned of dire consequences if the state does not raise income taxes. But his critics say Quinn has not done enough to cut spending. Using fear tactics to try to scare the average person in Illinois, any governor that would cut, uh, uh, say, police officers or teachers or let prisoners out of prison as his first cut, perhaps ought to rethink whether he's qualified for that job. And there's also a question of where Democratic leaders, particularly House Speaker Mike Madigan, are on all of this. So far, Madigan isn't backing an income tax increase or any reforms that would limit his power. We need to look at special elections, we need to look at recall, we need to look at redistricting, we need to do uh, some, not just campaign limits, but curtailing the power of the legislative leaders and all four caucuses. I'm afraid most of that's going to get pushed aside. Democratic leaders now say they need Republican votes to get that income tax increase passed, but Republicans won't touch it without reforms those Democratic leaders don't want. Jack Connerty, Fox Chicago News.